Calgary, Forest Lawn. After nine years of the Liberal NDP government, taxes up, costs up, crimes up, times up. When the Prime Minister promised to quadruple the carbon tax scam, the leader of the NDP said, yes, sir, anything for his $2.2 million pension. And now, the Canadian Truckers Alliance released a damning report. The carbon tax scam adds more than $4 billion cost to farmers, families and food. Why don't they just call a carbon tax election now and let Canadians decide whether to quadruple or axe the tax for good? The Honourable Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Newsflash, uh, Mr. Speaker. We had a, a carbon tax election in 2021 and the Conservative Party had a platform where they said they would put in place carbon pricing in this country. Maybe he just has to go and look back at their own platform, Mr. Speaker. Again this morning, the Parliamentary Budget Officer was in committee saying that 8 out of 10 Canadian families where carbon pricing applies get more money than what they pay in, in pricing, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, the Conservative Party of Canada continues to spew lies and disinformation on this issue. The Honourable Member from Calgary, Forest Lawn. The PBO proved that that orange jumpsuit, handcuff-wearing minister is lying when he said that more Canadians pay into this. I know it's the, uh, the first day back for members. We're, we've all correct? spent this time with our riding. I'm going to ask the honourable member if he could rephrase this question because he knows uh, that you can. I'm going to ask him to. I am going to ask the honourable member to rephrase his question to not use language which is normally considered unparliamentary. The honourable member from Calgary Forest Lawn from the top. What this orange jumpsuit wearing, handcuff loving minister doesn't understand is that the PBO proved Canadians pay more into this scam than what they get back. And it's done nothing to stop a single forest fire or flood. It's a scam and nothing else. And the leader of the NDP continues to prop this carbon tax scam up so he can get his $2.2 million pension. That's why he voted in favour of it 24 times. Call a carbon tax election now so Canadians can axe the tax and kick this carbon tax costly coalition to the curb. It's really important for all members to uh, choose their language and use their words judiciously in a way that is respectful to the House. The Honourable Government House Leader uh, 